Okay, so we've got the um, ground surface there, but if you look in the 3D view, we can't see the um, the property line, and uh, that's a that's purely a 2D element. And so, to help us um, get an idea of that um, backyard area, I'm going to put in a fence. And to create a fence, the easiest way in Revit is to use a railing um, that's set to have the properties of a fence. And you have those in the library. So to get to that um, file that has the fences though, you need to use um, this method I'm going to show you by clicking on the main menu uh, and then choosing open. And where people go wrong is by going to the sub-menu there and trying to choose an option from there when you don't need to. Just click where it says open. Yeah. You'll see there's a shortcut there to sample files which is actually useful and we could use that method but I'm just going to go straight to where it says open. Uh, so clicking on the word open. And the reason I'm doing that is because that will open all Revit file types, not just families or projects. You want to be able to open all of them. And so that's the first thing you need to check, that it says all supported files down the bottom. And then if you scroll down and find the shortcut on the left to the metric library, click there and then it should say Australia at the top. So you know you're in the default library. Just scroll down and you'll find sample files. You can open that. Double click to open it and... Oh, so I just use metric library on the left in the grey bar and then sample files, yeah. You could go to the one on the P drive, but, but this one has the same things. Oh no, so railings has all the other railings, but we want fences. Which also has railings, but, but they're fences. So double click on fences, and then that way if you get a message about upgrading. And then you'll see a collection of Railings. There's no fence tool in Revit. These are just railings that have been made to look like fences. And so I'm going to use this timber paling fence, which is called Fencing Vertical Feather Lap, which I suppose is what they call them in America, but here we just call it timber paling fence. And so if you, well, it's slightly different to timber paling because they do overlap, but it's, it's close enough. So, to get it into our file, you need to first select it. So it's blue. No, it shouldn't. Uh, oh, so you might, if it's gone like this, is it, is it giving you a, yeah, just click the cross. Okay, so once it's highlighted, once it's blue, then you can click copy to clipboard, which is in the clipboard panel at the top. You see below the cut button, which is the scissors, you've got the one with the two pages which is copy to clipboard not your regular copy tool that you have over in modify it has to be the one in the clipboard panel and you know it's worked because the paste button then should become active okay so then to go back to your file the easiest way is to use a windows shortcut hold down control and press tab And that should take you back to one of the views from your project file. Then, control and then you press tab once here. Okay, so it doesn't matter which view you're in. Um, might be easiest if you, if you haven't got a 3D view, if you do just change to that. So you click on the house um, at the top to open up a 3D view if it's not open. Then you can go to the Modify tab and click Paste. So again, don't go, don't click on that down arrow. Just click on the top where it's so got the button. Modify yep, find the Modify tab at the top, and then you should be able to see the Paste button. Yep. So it's 
So if you click paste, it should give you a message telling you you've got duplicate types. And that's fine, just click OK. And then you can click anywhere to place that fence. Anywhere you like, doesn't matter. Click uh, the finish button after that and you've got a copy of the fence in this file. Now, I'm going to delete it. After I've placed it, I'm just going to click on it and delete it. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, yep, get rid of it. Because we just want the tie. So now that we've brought it into this file, we can make our own railing and we can choose that type. So that's what, that's all the pasting is, is doing for us. Uh, and so to create it, I'm going to go to the site view. So site in your floor plans. And back on the architecture tab, go to railing. Yeah. No, no, that's right. Yeah. And then in properties, we can choose the name that we saw before, fencing vertical feather lap. And so then I'm just going to trace over the boundary. So starting on the corner of the building there, then I can go over to the right. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's fine. Right. Yeah, yeah. And so if it doesn't continue, you can turn the chain option on on the options bar to make it do that. I don't know why it's not on by default with railings, but that's just the way it is. So then it will continue from your last point. So just trying to create that sideways sort of U shape. Tick to finish. Yeah. Oh, you probably don't need that. There's no fence there. Yeah. And now it's fine if it overlaps the boundary, because fencing usually does. It's shared by both properties. But now when we see it in 3D, you can easily tell where the backyard is. Yeah, to finish it. That's it. So, if you want to, you can try and put in the um, the front fence using this uh, other railing. I've just gone back to that um, fences file, and I can copy and paste that same one in using exactly the same method. So I'll do this a bit faster and use some time to try and do that. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, if you want to. It's optional at this stage, but it might be handy as well. So I'm just going to draw a line only along the front. Uh, yeah, vertical feature bar, that's right, yeah. That's close enough. It's not exactly the same, but it's close enough. Yeah, yep. Yep, so I'm just drawing from bottom to top with that one, so it's clockwise. So No, I'm looking at, I'll, well, I'll have a look, I don't think... No, it doesn't go around the sides, except maybe a little bit on the right, but I don't think so even there. It stops. Control tab. Yeah, so we've got a P there at the end which we'll look at later. So that should be plenty I think for now. 
So at least then when you're looking in 3D, you can see where the front and the back of the property is. Put the piers in afterwards. 